Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. Today I'm going to talk about the cage system. A lot of people know this system, but how to apply? That's the really the question. Everybody can understand the system or patterns, but how to use them? You know, that's a good question, right? Before I go on more details, I want to thank John, my friend, who is a subscriber here, followers, at um, Tomohista Music. He made me this special one. Don't worry, don't compare, don't expect too fast, don't be kind to yourself. That's what I always think about, my, you know. And guitar, uh, my TF logo. John, thank you so much. This is very special. So I'm not sure where's the right place to put, but uh, just right now, I just made up. Yeah, so question is, is this cage system work? If it works, then you guys sound like your favorite guitar player already, right? Maybe not. Why? It just, this is one idea, system, but you can dig in more how to understand you know so so basically so i'm gonna explain so first it's only simple chord shape an open strings you know in the guitar and looks like c looks like open a i will show you the, you know i will show you the sheet you know later you know so don't worry right so like everything connecting a then G, G shape, and E shape, D. So spell caged. So we like simple idea and something easy to remember. So that's why caged, we do that. But you see, I've been teaching guitar for 30 years and more. And finally, I think common sense is good, but sometimes you want to reinvent just a little bit more, you know. So, first, I don't want to, you know, re rely on the shapes. So these are sh just shapes, okay? You can stamp on, very easy to understand. That's cool. But you have to really understand where where is root of note or third or fifth. So already, that's area of triads. So if you don't know triads, here, I don't know how I will link here, you know, I'm not really organized like that, but uh, maybe I can put the link here to go to learn, you know, uh, trial inversions. That's topic. So the cage system, just using five shapes to follow to understand the fretboard. But if you do that, just so you connect, yeah, congratulations, you connect, you understand, you know, you you know the road. But how are you gonna <laughs> you know make your music from there? So that's a little different story, you see. So that case you need to know maybe correspond to scale, major scale around that. Okay. I hope you're still 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 with me. So I'm going to show you interesting part. So now I get to that, you know, but then this is just a triad with a shape, all right? But now you want to understand chords, chord shape, and scale together so that when you play solo, you can play triads, you can play scale, you understand that from there, you can change the mixolydian scale, you can change the pentatonic, anything, but concept is same just understand music deeply so that you just don't use any shapes to follow because if you shapes follow you're just doing side by side okay <laughs> i will show you a lot of uh, you know pros and cons in other words a lot of wrong way or uh, you know concepts so now do you see this book modern method guitar one and before i went to berkeley I study this book and I have it in Japanese somewhere and um, it's not fun 
it's kind of a boring because everything dry. Just a C scale up and down, a little bit triads here and there. Music is not really exciting like a funk or blues, you know, because um, he wrote everything, you know, uh, music, real music that you have to read. And briefly, if I can explain what's inside. From beginning to page 60, everything about open position. Open position means zero fret to third fret around there maybe fourth fret and you play a bunch of different uh, major scale and triads chords and some duets and it's really nice and from page 60 page 60 interesting so I hope you uh, bear with me you learn something okay it's a free lesson you have to take advantage of this so now this So now this is page 60, okay, play in position, and then say fingering type 1. That's already when I read this, fingering type 1. What's type 1, type 2? Just, you know, just name. Anytime people put those names, don't worry about too much, okay? Important part is what it is. So this is a C major scale with really A shape. Okay, I get to that, okay? But then he doesn't say any cage though like that because this book to teach guitar, not to memorize anything, okay? But then chord forms sometimes shows like a chord shape like that here and there. So yeah, picking exercise, duet, reading, study, very nice. And then what happened is like, you know, every 10 pages, so next one, uh, page 70. And then he showed like that scale patterns but this this pattern i will get i let you know this pattern i exclude exclude with system because it's a little bit confusing but also um not so important because d shape c shape kind of similar area so this this is scale shape over the d shape but you know just don't worry okay great page 80 Page 80. Now, this is G major scale with E form. Looks like an E. Okay? E form. Alright? And, yeah, useful. But then, page 90. D major scale with a C form. C, D and C form. Please be patient. If you don't know any cage system, we will learn. Okay. All right. So now, page 100. A major scale with the G form. So already, five different forms. And shown, because of this five forms major scale really dedicate very specific position. So once you learn with the written music, you can go wrong because only one choice of note. And really good. So this book, really good. Not not the you know fun book to do it, but well, you know it's a great book. Okay, just remember that. All right. And okay. So now you wanna you wanna see like this. Ah, ha 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 ha. So you can, you know, you can copy now. See when you learn caged system or caged. You want to learn major scale with the form. So the C, but then problem is guitar depends on the key, little bit too low, too high. So it's not ideal to show people key of C because not really the guitar key, okay? So I get back to this one. It's a few things. So I, nice Ivan is a guitar. Any guitar you pick. Have you ever thought about this? Why we have a dot on the third fret, fifth, seventh, ninth, and a twelve? Twelve makes sense. It's you know octave higher. But this one, you know, so to me, it just 
Note the name, you know, open strings E, A, D, G, B, E. How you remember that? Every, <laughs> every asshole deserves good beer every day. That's what I learned from my student, not from a teacher, you know. So, but that was, I thought, kind of cool. So write it down, that one, that good joke. But so, everything is a sharp key, right? E, A, D, G, you know. So like, so like here, G and C on the bottom note, A and D, B and F sharp, and C sharp, F sharp, here. So now, chord shape, like this one, C. But then, if you move C, you can play like that, kind of keep moving. So that's why C, like caged, you know, C, right? Now next one, this root connect to the next one, A, just backwards. So right now, really, you understand backwards just connecting together. Now this one, second inversion, sodomi. Then here, you can play like this, but G forms appear like that. Looks like G form, you know. So really about like E form, see? E form. But then you can see D form. But see, D form is really C form together. So once again, once again, <laughs> look at it. Look at this, all right? C form, and look for the root, and learn that C major scale, a D major scale in this case, C form. Now A form, it's a little strange because first string, sixth string, you have to stretch. When you learn something, do not have any opinion. It's not worth it. When you learn from something, Unless the person not sure the person is teaching the right thing or not. But anything good, just don't put your opinion here because just absorb, learn, and think about it. Then you have a choice, okay? I'm a teacher, I'm an educator, I never push anything to my students. I want everyone to understand choices. After that, I let them decide. I don't decide, okay? But this one, you should know. So now after the A, so the G, G shape. Then, a little bit tricky from pinky finger, but then one finger you have to stretch. Again, that's not how you improvise or play. That's how you learn the instrument. So once you learn, you never practice like that. So that's why keep practicing, practice is not great. So that's judgment you have to do by yourself. Once you reach certain point, certain things, you don't practice anymore, okay? Last one, very simple, E form. That's I think a lot of people learn, which is really, really helpful. Now you understand a little bit. So now I'm going to demonstrate. But before demonstrate, very, very important. I have to sip my coffee. <laughs> because I'm not rushed. I just relax and do it. And then, as you know, when I make this video, actually my, well, several of my students at Berkeley, they're really surprised how, I'm, how I make a video. They thought I practice a lot, you know, phrases or patterns or how to talk about. And uh, this is what I do. I just have a piece of a paper, just the point I write. And then I'm a huge believer of writing stuff on one page. And then make sense. Then develop, you know. So that's why when people ask me in the email about the one page, I love reading. Anybody who does write two, three pages, if I answer, that person don't understand whatever I write because expecting too much, three pages, you know. 
So usually that question won't work, no matter how many pages, hundreds of pages that you get uh, answered, won't work because already putting too much information, too much expectation. So anything you write or think with one page, so that's why that one page is working. And this is only one shot, means I only press one and I press uh, press uh, off. That's it. I don't do anything. Why? Because I am live musician. So when it's on, I'm on. No matter what. Even I have a fever. Whatever I have, I have to play well. You know. That's why I practice a lot. Okay. So now, no excuse. Okay. Here we go. So now here. See, I'm not in tune, but that's okay. So here. So C form, right? The page that I show you, then you have to go. So that, that's what you have to learn. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, a little off. That's okay. Wow. Sharp. Ooh, sharp. Wow, sharp. Maybe <laughs> I didn't too. <laughs> okay. That's an excuse. Yeah, excuse? That's okay. If you admit an excuse, that's good. Okay, sounds good. So yeah, so now that's a C form. You know, looks like open C, move up like that. You know, that's nice. The, from there, you know, there's octave, okay? Then this is another octave. Now go to A form, which is backwards, A. Looks like open A, you know, like this A, right? Then here, it's stretch. Like that, great. So now after that, see now, this second inversion right here, then you reach the G form, like that. The paper, you know, you saw, see, the G form, you know. Now this one a little tricky, you have to stretch. Like that, okay. Then. E form like that, just very simple one, like a bar chord, you know. Then, now I was talking about guitar method book, page 70, and you know, he showed like this kind of form. Actually, Bill Levitt showed that here. So, really, you know, around the D form, right? But this form, you know, in the book says second position. Second position means you place your first finger, second finger, third, fourth finger from second fret and only stretch your first finger. So that means it's a little confusing. Also a little chuto hampa. It's it's not perfect to me this one. It's a little bit, you know, half ass type of <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, the fingering. So I ex exclude this one. It's I think okay because I spent 30 years teaching, so I have a right to the change. You know, so now you see caged form. I only uh, teach students caged, caged, not the caged. More more like the cage. You you don't want to cage the end. So cage C. <laughs> you know C. A G E, that's it, cage. You know, Nicolas Cage, that's it. That's good product, Nicolas Cage system. How's that? I think that's really sell, you know? Yeah. Okay. So only four forms. So now, how to apply these? Good question. This is a problem, guitar problem. If you learn shape, okay. You learn A major scale. OK. 
Okay. This is a problem. All right. Great. You learn B flat major scale. You learn B major scale. This is only guitar or bass because horizontal you can move. But piano, if you go E flat, you have to you think of three flats. F is a little easier, only one flat, you know what I mean? So every time you have to think more sharp or flat so that you know black keys relationship changes it, okay? So you see, idea is if you play a minor pentatonic. If you play C minor pentatonic. So this is kind of a problem, you know, right? If you play E minor pentatonic. Like that. So that we get, go back to that. You know, I show you a little bit of idea, okay? So now back to cage system. So if you use, if say you play A blues, you can play, you know, as, as fast as you can play like that. So what's going on? I use caged, you know, idea to play blues. So when I play A blues, first I play E shape. So that way I have A7 sound. A minor pentatonic. Then resolve. A sound, which is major third, like that. You can play A minor pentatonic, but why not use a cage system? I use A shape when you got when I go to four. Well. So what happened is, I use the same phrase, same day tripper phrase, but I changed three different fingering form because I am thinking different type of ideas. So first one, you can do A form. This is more like, you know, between A form and the G form. But then what happened is E in a five chord back to phrase. So I'm thinking five chord C and D form. Like that. What do you think? So that's you are applying. Okay? So basically you are staying same place, but you are using different chord shape to follow the chords. So once again, A 
one chord I follow E form. Then D, which is a four chord, I follow, follow A form. And the E, I dedicate C to D form. So to me, C is here, there's D. So I just include C and D form together. So like, uh, that's why D cage, not the caged, D cage form. That's what I, <laughs> what I teach, okay? Yeah, like that. So now, same concept, sometimes you can apply to different, you know, situation, okay? So it's really hard to do, really hard to do, but you have to really try, try, okay? So for example, a uh, little earlier, I did a demonstra demonstration about typical problem. A blues, so you see, people do it like this. What key? A, okay, A. <laughs> This is information. That's all correct information, but too much, too much information because already you play too many notes. More you play, less busy. Well, more, I'm sorry. More you play, it's too busy so that you can't hear anything. Idea, right? So if you do like that, maybe ta 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 ta. Ta, 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 like that. So, you know, don't go uh, sixth string. Just go from fourth to first string. Just like um, you know, John Lennon knows new diminished chords because he, he played ukulele. Wes Longomori knows diminished chords. Why? Because he plays you know tenor guitar. So four strings instrument you can learn so much. You know. So six strings. So basically. Bottom line is six string is difficult to learn, but made it easy to learn. So supposedly guitar is only learn C, G, D, A, B, whatever around this. That was, I think, original idea. But my guess is in order to make this instrument right, you have to have a strip, you know, um, length of a string. So they added, ah, oh, why not just put uh, more frets there, you know? So, so, so when people build a guitar, they don't really think about Eddie Van Halen or Wes Montgomery, you know? So they just put a lot of stuff and it just look good, you know? And Leo Fender, he's just so much, you know, a gear geek who wants to always try to make something better, you know? So that's why we have a problem. So many, we, we own so many guitars. That's problem of Leo Fender. Put this that way. Anyway. I think, oh yeah, yeah, so, 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 okay, the problem is this, you know, you learn, you know, A minor pentatonic, one shape like that, it's too quick to learn, okay, so that's why if you go, okay, what key, C, even professional people, we do like that, just so that, because that's kind of sound, but you have to try to do something a little bit more creative, you know, so this is what happened. If I play A minor pentatonic, okay, so that's what I'm thinking E form. Like that, okay. So if I play C minor pentatonic, it, if you bend the same note, like that, but a to go to C, that was my question always. Why I why I only know this, you know? So then that's when oh ah so this oh oh you know you know aha moment is this. I think E form right but then I play G form So if I play C, and 
and then I meet something else. But idea is concept is so basically I was using decay decay concept. Don't say system because if it's a system, you in a system, okay, like a computer, it's just in a system. If something upgrade, you can you can use them anyway, <laughs> you know. So approach or concept. Concept is always developing, you know. So don't do system point three point or something like that, you know. Okay. But you get the idea. You use little bit less, so caged, decaged, then just a cage, and that's it. Use something simple. Once again, wrap up. If you play blues, you can think A form. Then you go to D. You go to E. So what's happening? You bend up, you know, this note up to major third. Four. Sharp four, five, root. So theory, music theory intervals, super, super important. Now you play it here. Maybe when you play second solo, you don't want to stay same place. Maybe like a BB King. So BB King, I'm not sure he understood, but he's in a C form. C form. Now you go to four chord E form. Now E. That's A form. That's like A form G form. So you see idea. So that. I'm thinking a little bit of chord form, but which is a triads, not the shape. Triads. See? Triads. Major third. See, I'm not looking at it, but I can hear major third because I practice guitar, I study theory, I tried it, I hit the wrong notes, and just, you know, yeah, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, fart, a lot of fart sound. And then after that, study theory, I mean, study triads. That's why I did a lot of triads. And after that, I, I really changed. And Again, I'm not really super amazing guitar player. I'm pretty good. I think I'm pretty good, but not t number one guitar player. Around the middle, but just a little above middle. I I hope so. So that's um, <laughs> my story. All right. So bottom line is, you know, this is just knowledge, but you wanna learn more than knowledge, which is how to apply. So when you look at the knowledge. Don't believe or don't take too quickly. You have to examine slowly. How can I put that into my playing so that you own it? You're not just borrowing. See, almost like if you learn quick knowledge, almost like using credit card and just, you know, pay later, just buy something. That's the, that's the deal, which is easy. But paying in, ah, you know, later, right? So um, that's, um, that's, that's what I wrote the notes, yeah. Yes, so use it in the solo, comping, everywhere. Simple ways, ways always very smart way, I think better. Then bottom line is really, try as intervals. That's the plus. All right, thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. I hope you understand my concept about 
uh, decaged. So once again, haha. So you get that. I hope I'm, I didn't do too long because I'm so excited about it because this is like I'm teaching, you know, real person. That's what I feel, you know, like that. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, that's what I do. That's that's what I do. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So please share this uh, video to your friends. So one of your friends understand how to play blues using E form. A form, E form. So every chorus, every uh, you know um, blues chord progression has the sound. And cages, cage, the cages, the cages system is not system. The cage approach, Nicholas Cage approach. That's it. All right. So see you soon. Have a great weekend. Thank you.